Hey guys, this is Slenderpilly. What's going on? Welcome to another Call of Duty commentary. Today I have a uh, gameplay where I go 62-0 on Genesis um, with the RPR Evo and then kind of, I don't know, to be honest it is uh, kind of half RPR Evo and then I pick up a K-Bar with, also with the nuke variant um, and I probably lean on the K-Bar more than the Ripper but the Ripper is actually pretty pretty godly up close. Um, the fire rate's just mental. But anyway, um, I do kind of start to play bitchy towards the end of the nuke streak, um, but that is kind of... I don't know, if I don't... if I try and keep going aggressive, um, I end up just choking the streak like four off, five off, that sort of thing. So, um, it's pretty difficult to continue rushing headlong into the enemy and, and getting the nuke streak, but um, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. This one I kind of um, slow down a bit and also end up going flawless, barely. Um, in TDM, when you call in a nuke, uh, it does kill you, as well as like end the game. So like you can mail 50 kills if you've got a nuke and end the game in TDM, but uh, objective game modes it doesn't, it just kills the enemy and then doesn't kill you. So it's a bit weird that it ends up killing you in TDM. So um, the nuke barely doesn't go off, so I end up going 62-0. Um, if it did go off, I would have gotten a death, which, like, just, you know, ruins it, you know? It's no longer flawless. But anyway, um, I'm about halfway through this commentary and I've barely spoken about what I want to talk about. So basically, um, since I last did a commentary, I have, uh, joined a team for, kind of, competitive Call of Duty with Trish, Todd, and... Connor, um, and we are, I don't know, scribbing pretty regularly, um, still, uh, personally, for me, I'm picking up the basics of, uh, competitive COD still, so I'm slacking at the moment and, and falling behind, but either way, it's, uh, it's fun, it's a different, different experience playing COD for, uh, like in scrims against, you know, four other players that know what they're doing, um, and actually we've, we've decided to go to the Sydney land that was announced like a week or two ago. Um, March 3rd to the 5th uh, in Sydney. So I'll be heading down to that. Not to, to place overly well. We're all pretty new. Me being very, very new. Um, but I probably would have... There's a heavy possibility that even if I didn't join up with... Trish, Todd, and, and Connor, I probably would have uh, gone to the Sydney LAN as a spectator anyway, just to kind of show my sport for the LAN because definitely the ANZ slash APAC region is definitely uh, dropping with focus for uh, MLG, ESL, Activision, that sort of thing. So definitely uh, beneficial that I actually get to be in a team and... and uh, add to those numbers as well, but uh, yeah, looking forward to traveling down start of March. There's another one in May um, That's still undecided at this point in time, but um, yeah the one in a month or so looking forward to traveling down there uh, To Sydney wherever the I think it said it's in ESL studios, which I have no idea where that is, but I guess I'll eventually find out uh, It would be awkward if I didn't but uh, this is a new going off and the 100th kill happens, um, so I barely don't get the death on the scoreboard. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the min minor little update uh, mixed with the nuke gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, be kept up to date with any future content that I post. Uh, but hopefully I catch you in my next video. Bye.